So, uh, Andrew Cuomo back in the news, thanks to not Fredo, <laughs> his brother, Chris, but the sister. The sister has been doing all sorts of things that the New York Times found out about and, to its credit, reported on. It's such a juicy piece. I recommend everybody go read it. It's called The Secret Hand Behind the Women Who Stood by Cuomo. And it, it ends with, it's his sister. Her name is Madeline. She's, I think, the youngest of the Cuomo siblings. And it turns out she's been manipulating this group, the pro-Andrew Cuomo group called We Decide New York. So she has been, during the entire time, like women were coming forward and he was under investigation, manipulating this group of women in their 50s, 60s, and 70s to do hit pieces on each of the women who came forward, to do rehab pieces, not just on Andrew Cuomo, but on Chris Cuomo as well, who she convinced them to portray as some sort of a superhero. <laughs> and this woman sounds absolutely vicious. She, um, there's an attack on a woman named Charlotte Bennett. One of She's a former aide to Andrew. She sued him over sexual harassment claims, and she was one of the first to come forward. Um, one of the messages read, your life will be dissected like a frog in a high school science class. Well, um, this was a post that was part of a thread written by a leader of We Decide New York and secretly ordered up by Madeline Cuomo. They have got the actual texts and they go through them. So this is an exchange. Here's an example. Um, this is Madeline Cuomo. Good morning. Just spoke and he thinks a distraction could be helpful today referring to Andrew, uh, she suggested posting, quote, photos of Charlotte in her sex kitten straddle, taken from Miss Bennett's Instagram account, potentially alongside, quote, more austere professional ones of loyal Cuomo aides. She adds, no respectable woman would ever pose like that. Went on, bimbo photos, really despicable, unsophisticated girls. Oh, bimbo, really? Because I remember the left... After yours truly asked Donald Trump a question about using that word, freaking out about the fact that he had used it. And yet, I don't think they're going to have the same reaction to the sister of the disgraced governor calling these women bimbos and having been behind a months long campaign of smearing all of them. She now claims without Andrew's notice, but all the text messages say she's in contact with him and he's giving all these ladies a big thumb, thumbs up. So, what does this tell us about? media, and politics today. MBD? <laughs> well, it hasn't changed in some ways. I mean, this is a replay of the the strategy that was deployed on, on Monica Lewinsky, right? Was, you know, uh, Bill Clinton had subordinates like, you know, Blumenthal or others go out to the media and try to smear her as some, like, money-grubbing, sex-maniac, maniacal, um you know, femme fatale and to, to smear her in the media, a White House intern. Uh, the, the wrinkle in this one is it's in the family. It's the sister doing it, which is even more hilarious and reminds me of the, you know, the long-term, you know, cancer that is, uh, that are these political families in the United States, you know, the Kennedys, the Cuomos, they enable each other uh, uh, across uh, generations and across, you know, family nuclear family lines. I mean, it's it's absolutely outrageous that he's that his sister is like basically running this scheme and then asking these other ladies delete my text messages to try to cover her tracks. Mm -hmm. um, it's super comical though, uh, because in a way it it shows how exposed and empty politicians really are like that. And that in fact, like all the loyalty they have is conditional on their success, uh, except for the, you know, maybe a few family members that stick by them through the muck and the mud. But um, I don't know. It's, fu it's fun to see the pigs in mud. I mean, I, I yeah. took my kids to well, especially because all the time. This is the believe all women crowd, Rich. Yeah, Chris yeah. Cuomo was out there digging up dirt on the accusers. Now we know Madeline Cuomo was out there trying to slut shame the accusers. What do you mean? I thought we we're supposed to believe all women and you see every day that was all a bullshit lie. Yeah, the thing is though, I think if, if you put Madeline, that's her name, if you put her, yeah. uh, subjected her to a lie detector test now and asked whether she's fanatically in favor of Me Too and the, the ultimate feminist, she would say yes and probably pass. <laughs> There's just like yes. total lack of, of self-awareness or awareness of her own 
hypocrisy. And there's a great phrase from social science, amoral familialism, which is like loyalty to your own family is a, a good thing, right? It's a, the basis yeah. of morality in many ways, but you can take it too far. And I think the, I'm forgetting the name of the social scientist who came up with this phrase, but he, I, I believe was studying Southern Italy, where there's a total lack of social trust, a total uh, lack of investment in institutions, like, you know, major theme of this podcast over the last two hours or so, but a, a fanatical commitment to your own. And that's what we've, we've seen with the, with the Cuomo's, with Chris and now, now this, this sister Madeline. doing it you can behind the scenes to, to maneuver to try to save a reputation that wasn't worth saving. Hold on to power. Another text she writes, because one of Andrew's accusers was an unnamed state trooper. She writes, I think we should use current sentiment around police and authority in our favor to undercut, undercut her troopers, uh, her credibility. Can you run the Chris Cuomo soundbite? I think we have time to run, run it really quick. Run it, run it, run it, run it. Listen. People in power want to keep it. Now, for good and bad reason. Good reason? Well, they believe they can use it to the advantage of their constituents and maybe more. The bad reason works for them. Power's good to have in America. Get you get things done. Gives you advantage. Gives you respect. Gives you legitimacy. Yeah, just ask a Cuomo because they were all in on it. Junk science. That's what the doctor called many of those fruit and vegetable supplements on the market. Junk science because they use extracts of common produce department fruits and vegetables with few health benefits. Let's face it but I want to tell you about Field of Greens. Now, Field of Greens is different. They use the whole organic fruit and vegetable, not a watered-down supplement, and it's backed by a better health promise, which I'm about to tell you about. Each ingredient in Field of Greens was scientifically chosen to support vital organs like heart, lungs, and kidney health. Others support your immune system, blood pressure, metabolism, and healthy weight loss. Their better health promise is simple. The next time you're at the doctor for a checkout, if the doc doesn't say something like, you are looking healthier than before, you get your money back. That's a deal right there. So let me get you started with 15% off. Visit fieldofgreens.com and use my promo code MK. That's promo code MK at fieldofgreens.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.